Make Land. I'm Nikki McCallum. And I'm Gaia Pasinelli. And we will be your anchors for today. Attention all artists, the freshman class is hosting a school-wide craft fair open to all grades and all crafts on May 8th. Scan the QR code on the green flyers around the school to sign up. Application are due virtually by April 17th. Email Ms. Ailes or Mrs. Trice with any questions. February is CTE month. If you are in a CTE class, remember to thank your teachers and ask your counselor about other CTE classes that you can take, such as engineering, marketing, video production, BMT 1 and 2, computer science, and accounting. Check out what CTE has to offer. What's up Lakeland High School students? This is the Fatima Lafanu, safety for the Detroit Lions, and I understand you guys are signing up for classes next year. I strongly encourage you guys to sign up for marketing, BMT, video, or sports marketing. These are valuable courses you guys can take regardless if you're a freshman or a senior. There's so many different sports teams out there, so many different professional sports out there, and who knows, one day you guys could work with the Lions. So I just want to encourage you guys again to sign up for marketing, BMT, video, and sports marketing. Go Lions! Becca, remember your state conference testing is March from the 5th to the 7th after school. Please continue taking practice tests online. Your test counts for one third of your overall score. The more you practice, the better you should do. Good luck Lakeland Deca! Sophomores, are you thinking college night might not be for you? OSTC Oakland School Technical Campus has applications available for pickup if you are interested in one of the trades. The goal for attending OSTC is motivation to learn the curriculum, participation in leadership, professional skills opportunities, and to get ahead for college and careers. If you are interested, please see Mrs. Riley or your counselor in the Student Service Center ASAP. Applications are due today. Seniors, local scholarships are now available. Each year, local organizations offer many scholarships specifically for Lakeland seniors. These scholarships are available to a wide variety of students and focus on different qualities and future goals. For example, some emphasize athletics, some academic achievement or community services, others focus on financial need. Because most of these scholarships are offered only to Lakeland or Huron Valley students, competition is much lower than compared to national or private scholarships. Some scholarships require essays or letters of recommendation, so students should not wait until the last minute to begin applying. See Mrs. Riley in Student Services with questions. The due date for submitting application is Friday, March 8, 2024 at 3 p.m. Late application will not be accepted. Scholarship opportunities are posted on the Lakeland website under the Counseling tab. A special mention for the Carlson Anchor Scholarship a possible $2,000 scholarship for students who have completed some community service while in high school. Get your applications now. Wait, get your applications now for all your local scholarships. Are you interested in a career in nursing or the health science? The Oakland University School of Nursing and Health Science will be here at Lakeland March 5th and the third hour for a presentation. Scan the QR code outside the career centers to sign up for this presentation. And, and now, now for sports. sports. Hey, did you know that some of Lakeland's very own border cross racers went to NHSAA state championship last week? Huge congratulations to Kate Hanman on placing second in the whole state. Way to go, Lakeland. 
Last Thursday, our varsity basketball program took on Warford Catering right here at home. The boys team had a huge game up by 20 and a half and ended the game up by 35 points, winning 63 to 28. The girls also had a big win over the captains 55 to 23. Senior Parker Ostash was on the Lakeland podcast last week talking about the team and her statements completely aligned with the team's win. Hard working and fun. This makes the girls record 15 to 13 overall and 11 to 12 11 to 2 in LVC. Amazing wins basketball teams. The Euron Valley Unite Gymnastic team had a great day at LVC Conference Meet held in Linden on Saturday afternoon. The team fell a little short of winning the LVC to Linden. They earned their hardest team score of the year, completed some new skills, earned many medals and had some personal best scores. Lakeland sophomore Kennedy Foote had a great meet with a personal best on the beam. She also placed on the bars and floor. She was third all around Lakeland. Sophomore Haley Smith was second on vault and freshman Gabby Marino was sixth on vault. Lakeland junior, junior McKenna Herman placed both on bars and beam. Congratulations to the gymnastics team. Remember that you can find all the latest athletic information on the Lakeland Athletics Facebook page and on X. You can watch many of the games live online through the NFHS network. Don't forget that we always post our episodes of Good Morning Lakeland on the LHS website and YouTube. You can also look for links of the Good Morning Lakeland Instagram at LHS underscore GML. Remember to check out the Lakeland podcast, the podcast that brings you all the best that Lakeland has to offer, along with some fun original player. You can look for the Lakeland High, High School podcast on Spotify and your email each week. Last week's podcast features seniors Peyton Morris and Parker Ostash to celebrate women in sport and our amazing female athletic at Lakeland. This week's podcast has Mr. Loisel talking about post-graduation finances for you seniors. Let's give it a short listen. So you're graduating high school this year. Right? Yes, sir. So I bet you Lynn and everybody's going to have yourself a little graduation. Yeah. Okay, so I had a graduation party when I graduated WK in 95. So my parents invited my relatives and their friends. My friends came over and it was just like any other grad party, right? My friends would come over and eat all the food because they go to the next time. Yeah. But my parents, friends, and relatives, people, hell, I didn't even know. Right? Half the people I didn't know. I had to just go up there and introduce, thank yeah. you, Ben, blah, 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 blah. But they all gave me a gift of money. In 95, you know, the next day I opened all of those envelopes and I had about $2,000. But I took the $2,000 right then as my starting point at 18 years old. And then I took that money and invested that money. Today, if I wouldn't have touched it, today it would be worth about $47,000. Wow. And then that's not even putting any money in. If I were to put another hundred dollars a month or something like that it would be almost a half a million dollars and that's not even talking about going to school and getting a job and stuff like that well it's time for anchor shout outs first up is me my shout out is to my parents because i know they're watching this <laughs> and i would like to shout out to olivia schneider and all italy another shout out to bryce cleesby for being a semi-finalist in high competitive national honor society scholarship keep making us proud Lastly, as you can see on our desk, we have our Milford Independent Cinema coffee mug. The cinema is one of the last remaining independent cinemas in Southeast Michigan. If you could spare a few dollars, visit milfordcinema.org and make a donation to their current fundraising campaign. Every little bit helps. Thanks. Thank, Thank you, you for watching Good Morning, Morning Lakeland. Lakeland. Have, have a great day. day.